speed, speed, speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Barracks Trail in Utah. We love driving this trail, mainly because there are several river crossings and river crossings are our favorite because they make us feel like we're extra cool. And there's this cool swing. <laughs> this particular day, I had just finished breaking down in my Forerunner and we were out with Dave rallying around with some friends and Dave got a little too deep and sucked water in through his engine's intake. We pulled the plugs and tried to blow the water out, but damage was already done. Engine was totally seized. Fun fact, Dave actually got stuck trying to climb that waterfall in the mud and we spent hours trying to pull him out. So. It's only appropriate that we got stuck at the same place. So anyways, got a new engine, uh, ordered it while well, it was a used engine, uh, about 85,000 miles on it. So we pulled out the old one, put in the new one. Uh, because the engine was seized, we couldn't actually disconnect it from the transmission. So we had to pull the whole engine apart, figure out where it had seized and why. And we found a busted rod had blown through the side of the engine block <laughs> and it had gotten jammed up behind a piston on the other side of the V6 engine. So you can see there's some rust in those cylinders. There's the culprit busted cylinder uh, piston in the back. So we had to cut the piston out on the other side so we could get to the rod that was jammed and blocking the engine from rotating. So there it is, we drilled that thing out. There's the busted rod that swung up from the other side and got jammed in the other cylinder. And it was hard to find tools <laughs> that would do that, at least tools that we had laying around because we didn't have many. But uh, we made do. We finally cut it out. We got cylinders moving. We got some cylinders moving. Cylinders are moving. Oh, yeah. So once we got that piston and the rod cut out, the rest of it was a breeze. Pulled the engine out, swapped over the air conditioning, the alternator, all that jazz. Put it on this new slash used engine. Got it all prepped up and dropped it right on in. Uh, one quick note, this old engine had about 200,000 miles on it. And as we pulled it apart, we noticed that there was like zero wear on the cams, lobes, everything. It was like, it was an amazing shape, except for what we did to it. Welcome back. About the course of enhanced fuel economy, full synthetic into this thing. Got it right back here. together. Get some oil into the cooling tank. CJ's just being a little dumb right now. Get better gas economy into the cooling tank. We got the battery in, filling it with oil. Oh, we it's filled golden. it with coolant. It's golden. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Forgot to put the filter back on. Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you did try to do the, uh... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. This is the moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a good sound. Oh my gosh. That is so satisfying. Okay, Dave, fire up. Yeah. Back in action, baby. Oh yeah. It's good to have this thing back on the road. Um, and just to reiterate, 
These engines have been totally over-engineered and they'll last forever as long as you take care of them and don't sink them.